Good day. It's Friday, 27th of May, 2022. I am Henry William McCarter, Chairman of the People's Freedom Council of Southern Africa and the Ambassador of the State of the African Diaspora. I greet you, the viewers, and I'd like to address this presentation to Chief Justice Raymond Zonda. These are three of the submissions, totaling 500 pages, that were submitted to the State Capture Commission. In these three submissions, the evidence is 41 trillion rand has been stolen from South Africa. You, sir, received 160,000 pages of evidence, which is 64 boxes of paper. If in 500 pages we have evidence that 41 trillion rand has been stolen, what is the total that's been stolen in your 160,000 documents? Let us quickly look at some of these. Theft of the gold from South Africa. No investigation. Another submission, state capture, no investigation. This is an interesting one. It's ABSA, 8 billion rand stolen from two families over a few years. Another interesting one. Nedbank, 13 billion rand. The police refused to open the matter, notwithstanding the evidence, including a green screen shot of the funds in Nedbank. a private matter, 600 million rand, one family defrauded another, no investigation, two years later. Eskom, we won't go into the billions, another Eskom file, billions, it goes on and on. However, in the last few days, you've heard the voice notes of Mr. Johan Roert, and no doubt received the evidence that I have before me. The evidence I have before me in Mr. Johan Roert's matters clearly prove in any court of law that the judiciary has collapsed, sold out. There is no time left to mince our words. Judges are issuing fraudulent court orders. The police are involved. From the little that you've seen here, it is evident that when the judiciary is gone, the country becomes a failed state. I am saying, in any court of law, we can prove that South Africa is a failed state. And we need to consider the definition of a failed state. And that quite simply is, the government is no longer in control of South Africa. Where does that leave the people? With three remedies, or more. First remedy, we return to Blantyre 2001, where 14 SADC presidents, including President Mbeki, signed the SADC Protocol Against Corruption. That protocol gives us the right to form a people's court in view of the fact that ours have collapsed. That protocol also gives us the right, as we the people, to form the SADC National Peace Commission, which gives us the right to form our own people's court. And the SADC National Peace Commission comes in peace. 
second remedy available to the country, in view of the fact that the law of the land is vacant, is for all of us en masse to resign from the IEC and withdraw our permission and compliance to South Africa PTY Limited, which is incorporated in the United States and London. The third remedy available to the people, and I was perusing the Cape Succession documents, my view is it's too late for succession, but the timing is perfect for a UDI. And I think the Cape Succession movement should declare a UDI and then encourage Zululand, KZN, to do the same thing. That, in my view, is where we stand. And Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, I think that you should, with all the evidence that you've received, advise the country of where we do stand. Thank you.